OK, team, so remember, we are dropping security support for Windows 10. And, oh, sorry, it's Windows 7. <laughs> Jeez, I better put a little red squiggly line under that. There. I'm sure that little typo won't get us in trouble. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from Microsoft. And you may have heard recently that we take security and cryptography very seriously. In fact, our CEO said that encryption backdoors are a bad idea. And to prove that point, we put the biggest backdoor exploit in our software the very next day. And Satya is reported to have said, <laughs> Yes, that will teach them. Strangely though, this tactic backfired. As the NSA then told us, Oi, patch up this security floor right now. People could use it to spy on American citizens. And that's our job. They kick our job. And so we had to release an emergency patch for it. It's pretty technical stuff, but basically it goes into the start menu and changes the difficulty setting. From easy all the way up to normal. We did get one back on the NSA though. First, because the patch we released doesn't work all the time. Come on! And second, one of our secret agents was able to actually use the hack to switch the National Security Agency website to the Never Gonna Give You Up website. <laughs> of course, this little trick only works on certain vulnerable web browsers, like the one we just released. Oh, that's what it means by edge case. Shaboom! And it's time for another Funky Monday video. We get updates on you, me, and everything funky. And my goodness, I can almost get ya. Uh, you know, you really stuffed up Microsoft, you know, you really did a goof, you really fluffed your pants when the NSA is telling you to fix your stuff. I guess it was too easy for them, and if they want to spy, they at least want a challenge. The NSA told everyone to update their software via Twitter. Interesting they chose that method rather than just unmuting their microphone and telling us directly. But we'd all be safe if we follow Kingbury's advice, which is to follow my advice and update Windows. Update Windows. Asked me yesterday to update Windows. I ignored it because I was ordering Chico's. In fact, it is now time for your ha, community news. Oh. Ooh, some people noticed that Bixby's accent was a little off in last week's video. In fact, I might even call Bixby uh, on his home line just to see what in fact happened there. Uh, Bixby. Hello, sir. Bixby here. How can I help? Oh, yeah, Bixby, what happened to your regular strong British accent in the last video? Oh, yeah, sorry about that, sir. You know, I don't get many people calling me nowadays and, well, asking for my help, so I'm a little out of practice, you see. I see. In fact, I don't see. Bixby, why are you a still image? Oh, sorry about that, sir, but I didn't think it proper. I'm, I'm not wearing any pants. Neither am I. Uh, speaking of portrait televisions, Toasty enlightened me saying that Snapchat have their own original TV show things now. How depressing. Do the shows just show up for a few seconds and then they disappear forever, like the Watchmen series. <laughs> Got him. Let's get international now with some love from Brazil. Thank you, bitcho. Oh, geez, did I say that right? Oh, well, uh, let's now it's time for this week's certified funky stamp of approval, which does it go to Muhammad Smith, who's been a loyal subscriber for years. He's watched almost every video and only wants a rethrow because we didn't catch the initial export on camera. Now nah, it goes to Kenost for imagining what happens when the Cero TV motor gives up. Introducing, Introducing Diagonal, Diagonal TV. TV. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. And to see if Knost wins, respect and a hearty thumbs up, let's do the exports. Uh, Muhammad, you gotta wait till the 1 million subscriber special. I've said it before, now cut away before I stand up, I got my pants. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the exports. Yes, wave to the camera, we can all see you. And don't be fooled by his sweet arsenal. Sam Time is not a character that needs to be nerfed. Oh my goodness, he's done it, yes! Yes, he is wearing pants. Thank goodness the neighbors will be happy about that. He spared them a fate worse than pantslessness. And yeah, as usual, he, he you know, the, the pants, they can't solve everything. They're not independence pants. They did not sell well. Big, big event this Friday. In fact, we actually missed last Friday's upload, which just means that compounds into the awesomeness of this Friday's video. You won't want to miss it. It's bigger than anything Apple's announced. In fact, Apple were going to announce the next iPhone 15, but they decided not to because they didn't want to compete with our mega announcement. So make sure you ring a ding, my big fat ding dong, so you don't miss it. And I'll see you on Wednesday and then for the big announcement on Friday. Ah, oh, it's going to blow your balls off. Now, 
uh, getting a little weird and innuendo -y, so we better sign off. Thanks for tuning in. Escape the ordinary, embrace the funky, and stay funky, everyone. It's that time, signing off. Subscribe today. Break your balls? Uh, side note, did you know that it's actually spelled postpone? I've been saying postpone all these years. I think Bixby should take over. Sounds good, sir. And this episode was brought to you by the Funky Patriots. Unlocking the funk on Patreon. They're so hot. Funk it down. <laughs> yes. That, oh. <coughs> that will teach them. Oh. So Satya needed to take a soother. Or oh, you better patch up this security floor right now. People can use it to spy on American citizens. Yeah, uh, you better. All right, enough terrible impersonations.